Yeah, you can't have Texas without barbecue. Uh, you know, people are religious. Texas is part of the Bible Belt, and I believe in the Holy Trinity, brisket, ribs, and sausage. Oh, look at that. Ain't that good? Nowhere has barbecue like Texas does. Everything's bigger in Texas, and barbecue is definitely better in Texas. Man, can I talk about barbecue in Austin? Barbecue is Texas, and Austin is Texas. So yeah, it's the best barbecue in the world. <laughs> Austin's a huge melting pot. We're gonna invite you for a plate of food and just talk. Everybody's really open and friendly and inviting. I feel like it's a big cultural intersection and a lot of Texan pride, but in a very different way. It's like the Neapolitan ice cream of Texas. You got all sorts of different flavors, so no matter what you like, you're gonna find something good here. Here in Austin, the city has changed a heck of a lot. We try to keep the culture here through art, music, and food. In the early 80s, there were five, six barbecue places. It's exploded to what is now really kind of a craft thing. Anybody can burn meat, but to burn it right, to have people stand in line and coming back, no matter what. Well, and that's what old school has always done. Yeah, look at the new shiny coin. Fine. It's going to tarnish sooner or later. Those guys don't know what it's like to do this day in, day out, day in, day out, for generations. You know, for me, I, I grew up eating Sam's barbecue, you know. That's what we do at Sam Cook Barbecue. And you don't need no teeth to eat it. Just act like me. Come on down here. Ah, I ain't got none. I'm gonna smile for you. Yeah. Come on down. We all right. We at Sam Barbecue in Austin. And I'm the third generation to run this and have this place. So I'm still cooking good barbecue. We still doing all this stuff around here. We got all these pictures on the wall here to show a whole lot of people been through here. Sam, Cameron, stepped in to be our grandpa, but he was our leader of the family. Aaron, my brother, the one next to me, he cooks. David, my little brother, he cooks. And my daughter do the book work. My wife keeps up with all receipts. We all love each other. We love what we're doing. Barbecue knowing what you're doing and taking time. See, once you do like I have and business is on, you'll know what to use and what not to use. I don't use no salt. You got to use the rub, not the salt. See, when you do bobcat, you got to love it. And then when they eat your food, they say, damn it, dude. Who you don't need no teeth to eat this? Texas, man, you know that. Man, it's done changed so much because for many years you didn't see folks other than black folks on the east side. All the other shops and things have been closed. Sam Barbecue is the last man standing. Since this area is gentrifying, he's getting offers from developers. It ain't about selling my business or getting money for my business, but helping my community. We try to start a unit up here, because when they tore our unit down, we lost it. Hey, y'all, y'all all right? What's up, y'all? Right? <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah, they love it. this one. Spend this right here. Oh, See, one thing about our unity, it don't have no color to it. That's why we don't play that. Like barbecue is like a community event, whether your community is small, just your family, or just your family and friends, or if it's a restaurant like Sam's. It's almost like a church in a way. You know, food is your way to connect, and you have conversations, and the photos kind of say it all. I think if anything, it like surprised me. I've never been a big fan of pork ribs, but pork ribs just blew me out of the water. The ribs are just, just fatty and decadent and the nice charring on the outside again. And Everything about it, the smell, the taste. When you come into Sam's, it feels like you're getting fed by your family. Seriously, this is a homeboy from home. Some people may say it was like a 
not a smart move that, you know, we didn't sell it or have it is. We didn't look at it like that. It's more of the principle and the character of what we live for. We want to save it. This is a generational thing, you know. This is the heart of the community. What's going to be here if this is not going to be here? It's family, it's community, it's love. And, you know, food is love. We all came on different ships, but now we're in the same boat. Once we get this unit together, we all going to be all right. If my community said they're going to hang with me, I'm going to stay here. You don't need nothing but that. That's your strength.